Texas coastlines are currently facing many challenges due to serious changes of the environment. Not only does it affect our oceans, but it affects diverse marine ecosystems and us. Coral bleaching is becoming a serious threat to reefs globally. Scientists believe that by 2050, 90% of all coral reefs will be experiencing high thermal pressure and potential bleaching. Coral has a symbiotic relationship with the algae zooxanthellae that provides food and gives the coral its vibrant color. When water temperatures are too warm, the coral becomes stressed and the algae leaves the coral. Without the algae, the coral loses its major food source and can turn white. This is called coral bleaching. If conditions don't improve quickly enough, the coral may die. By reducing your carbon footprint, you can help prevent ocean warming. You can reduce stress on coral by using mineral-based sunscreens. Also, when you go snorkeling, make sure to not touch or step on the coral. And finally, you can be conscious about the things we do on land that can cause harmful runoff to enter the ocean. Here in Maui, sea level rise is one of many concerns for this island, as sea level could rise three feet by 2100. Sea level rise is caused by added water from melting ice sheets and the expansion of seawater as it warms. Both are caused by global warming. Sea level rise causes erosion of beaches, coastal flooding, and impacts on roads and buildings. We can reduce the impacts of sea level rise by planting native plants on sand dunes to prevent erosion. In planning or upgrading infrastructure with sea level rise in mind, we can also prevent global warming by reducing our carbon footprint. We can do this by using less energy, like walking or riding a bike instead of using a vehicle, and being conscious of the things we buy. Every year, Hawaii's north-facing beaches collect 15 to 20 tons of plastic waste. Millions of single-use plastic products are purchased and wasted every single day. A lot of these products are blown or washed into the ocean, where they become marine debris. The sun breaks down plastics into particles called microplastics. Microplastics contain toxic chemicals that can be ingested by marine life, causing health problems and sometimes death. There are many solutions to the problem of plastic pollution. We can avoid single-use plastics and use more reusable things. Or use environmentally friendly alternatives such as compostable items. These actions can lower the amount of plastics entering our ocean. The Honu and Hawaiian monk seal are important ocean species in Hawaii. They are endangered and face many threats. Most are caused by humans. We can help reduce these threats by following a few simple rules. Give them space. Monk seals can be aggressive when they feel threatened. Clean up your trash and avoid plastic. Honu can accidentally ingest plastic. Follow ethical fishing practices. Honu and monk seals are sometimes caught in misplaced fishing gear. By avoiding plastic use, reducing our carbon footprint, respecting wildlife and coral, and being conscious of how our actions on land impact the ocean, we can all do our part in protecting our ocean and coastline.